Going good, going good. Oh, oof, ah. Those are high throttle oscillations, and in this video I'll show you one way to get rid of those. Hello everybody, it's Mark, 2Dog. I've got a new video for you here. This one is on TPA. So the topic I had some questions about uh, about a week ago, and I covered it in my live stream a little bit, and some people wanted a little bit more information. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about what TPA is, why you want to use it, and how to set it up. So first, what is TPA? TPA is called Throttle PID Attenuation. In Flight 1, you go to the PID Tuning tab, and you first make sure you have this Expert Mode clicked up here. Then come down and show TPA. Now this is a uh, uh, my Tiny Hawk, <laughs> so it might be a little different. But basically, here's your these are your pretty pictures, and these are not pretty pictures, but it's the same data. So what it does is it varies your PIDs, P I or D, you know, P I or D, based on a percentage. So for example, let's just look at TPA on the P term right here. So what, what we've got on the bottom of our scale is your throttle position. So this is all the way at the bottom. This is all the way at the top of your throttle. Then what we've got on this axis, the Y axis, is a percentage. So up here, this is 100. So what that means is when your stick's at idle, you're going to have 100% of the P value that you've got set. For me, I've got a p-value of 54. You can't set these independent of, of an axis. It's all three axes together. That is one limitation here. So here on this particular one, you can see I've got 100, 100. And then as my throttle increases, these drop down to 95. So what that means is once my throttle gets to this point, now my p-value is only going to be 95% of this. So if you want to, you know, mathematically it's 95 times 54. At decimal places, that's what the p-value at that throttle is going to be. And you can do it for your i and your d. And you can see something here. Most tunes, the i is just constant. That Most people don't change this. But a lot of different tunes have different profiles here for your TPA. Why do you want to mess with this? Well, let's say you've got a, a quad and it's flying really good down at the lower throttles down here. You, it feels really locked in. It's going exactly where you want it to go. It's doing what you want it to do. But when you bring up the throttle and just at that top end of your throttle, you start to get some oscillations. It's pitching up and down, shaking kind of like this video here. What you can do is come back in here and play with this a little bit. So if you knew where your throttle was shaking, you know, maybe you had your throttle percentage on on your OSD, then you would know exactly where to go. But usually just try bringing it down by five at the top and this. Or you can, you know, if you want to go crazy with it, you can move these sliders. So let's say you really wanted to get crazy and bring it down to 70%. You can move the slider or, or just click there and type in the value. So this means when you're at full throttle, your P is only going to be 70% of whatever you've got set up here for your axes. And then you go fly. And if, it, if you notice, well, full throttle worked, but all the way up it didn't. Then you come back down here and maybe bring this down a little bit, make a little slope however you want to make it and see if that works because what happens when you are at a lower throttle your props are not as powerful so there there's not as much thrust coming off the prop so the the p is in as the p is there but the amount of force is less then when you go up to full throttle your props now are creating a lot of lift a lot of thrust and that p value might be too much and that's what's causing oscillation you can do this for the p and you can also do this for the D as well. One benefit too here is it enables you to keep a nice sharp feel at the lower throttle settings, especially for like, you know, trying to, you know, your normal cruise area. But what you can also do too 
is move up above 100%. It's kind of a weird graph here, but let's say you're, you, you really need some more, maybe you got a really low pitch prop or something, and you just don't feel like it's locked in when you're really low throttle. You can bring this up to 120, 120%, 110%, it's gonna amplify now. Instead of reduce uh, down here, if you're over 100, it's gonna amplify the p-value in this instance. So this would give you maybe a little bit more of a locked in feeling when your throttle is down a little. And usually, if you're gonna adjust your P, you should adjust your D as well because they kind of play with each other. And if you keep them in sync, it's gonna be better. So if you're bringing your P down by 70%, well, your D is still amplified at the normal value. So it's gonna be uh, off balance and not the same as if it was the relationship because it's all about the relationship between P and D it's not necessarily a value but the relationship between the two so you might want to match your D curve to your P curve so there I've shown you what TPA is I showed you why you'd want to use it and I showed you how to set it up now what's left is for you to go out try it see what happens <laughs>